Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be putting together a three tiered cart for homeschool supplies and just getting all that organized. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that I homeschool, um, but I have three kids and my girls are twins, they're five, and my son is just one year behind them, he's about to turn four. And we did homeschool with pre-K and it went really, really well. They enjoyed it, they learned so much. And so we're very excited to start our curriculum with kindergarten. I just can't wait to see what all they learn. So because I'm new to the homeschooling game, if you have any tips or tricks that you feel comfortable leaving me, then comment down below and give me any and all things that make homeschool fun and exciting and just something that they're looking forward to. So far, they really enjoy learning and they love doing anything that has to do with learning. So I'm really excited to get kindergarten going. So like I said, I've got a three tiered rolling cart that I actually bought off Amazon deal days and I'm gonna link that down below in case anyone is interested. But I picked a three tier cart because I have three kids and so it just made sense. Then everybody has their own little tray and that way nobody is having to fight over whose stuff is where. They've got their tray and they know where their stuff is supposed to be. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy watching me get the cart put together. I'm also going to be making this thing called a busy box that I saw from a mom on Pinterest who homeschools. And so I'll go further in depth with that in just a little bit. I'm gonna be making a busy box. I cleaned out my closet last week, I believe. It's just a coat closet. Cleaned it out and that's where I'm keeping the homeschool supplies so they're easy to access. But I'm really excited to get it all going. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. So without any further ado, let's get started. I ordered this three tier metal car off of Amazon during their deal days. I chose the black color, which I think they had several colors in it, but I'm really impressed with the quality and I really love the way that it looks. I'll have this cart linked down below. I chose the three tiered cart because I have three children and I just thought that each one of them would have their own little space to keep their materials and that would probably be the easiest thing to keep them from arguing over who's is who. So I'm generally pretty good at putting stuff together, but by the time I got to this second tray, I started having a little trouble. So like I had to just use my knee to hold it up there so I could get it screwed in correctly. My suggestion would be that if you have the option to have someone help you put this together, it probably would be helpful. I had to call in the reinforcements and get my husband to come help me. I feel like this cart would be perfect to use in the kitchen or even in the bathroom to organize stuff. I think it's gonna do really, really great for us with all of our homeschool supplies. I accidentally cut myself a little bit while putting one of the wheels on, but overall I'm very pleased with this cart and the girls were super excited to get to push it over to the closet and put it away for me. So now I am loading up school supplies onto the cart. I'm starting with a journal for each of the kids, which I know they're just starting kindergarten and you're probably like, they can't even really write well yet, which is true. But the journal has a top part where you can actually draw a picture with your writing. I also have added a clipboard, a folder, a ruler, and a dry erase board to every one of the trays. Next, I'm going to be adding some basic school supplies, some colored pencils, some regular pencils, a new box of crayons, their scissors, and a glue stick into their school bag that we had from last year. I also got each of them a new pencil box that had a fresh set of big markers and the fine tip markers. Now I'm creating my busy box, which I saw from a mom on Pinterest who said she basically fills a box up with different learning activities like these letter and number books or sticker books or coloring books or the water well pages or water well ABCs or just blank notebooks, color wonder activities, 
but that box is for the type of mornings that are slow. Maybe someone needs some extra snuggles or maybe someone isn't feeling well. The other kids can go to the busy box and get something out of it to do some meaningful practice and to help them learn. So I figured that a busy box would be a good addition for my little family. So this is the setup for the coat closet where I'm storing all of our supplies. We've got their little ABC mat, which is good for any kind of activity that gets messy. At the top, we have a lot of learning games like spelling games, math games, ABCs. I have a pencil sharpener and extra pencils. We have a couple of puzzles, some more color wonder activities, an easel, um, a water mat, a clock, just some things for learning that I don't necessarily want in their reach all the time I've put at the top. Also adding some extra glue and markers because someone is probably going to lose theirs at some point. I bought that steam book from Dollar Tree and those little blank journals which are perfect for doodling in and just showing maybe how they feel. Also got these wooden cubes at Dollar Tree and I bought some expo markers for practicing handwriting. These I picked up from Ollie's to just practice reading and writing. You always need extra tape and then some lined paper for early learners. I also have this little weekly planner that I'm hoping will keep me on track. Here is a finished look at the closet with all the homeschool supplies and I'm very pleased with how everything turned out and I'm really excited to get our kindergarten year started. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that maybe some of you homeschooling moms found some inspiration from it. I hope to see y'all next time. Bye y'all.